Welcome, uh, my name is Concetto and this is my first uh, YouTube channel. Today I decided finally to upload uh, this uh, first video um, after a lot of tries because basically I did this presentation once and I deleted because at some point I started to cut, cut, cut and uh, I cut everything. Uh, so my biggest problem in uh, beginning this project was the enemy of every, I think, um, YouTuber probably at the beginning, which is procrastination. Procrastination. Or procrastination in Italian, because I am Italian. As Plato said, a Greek philosopher, philosopher, he said, the most difficult part of a project is started. So finally I decided I created a new, um, a new, a new intro, which is this one, I decided to face my procrastination and said, okay, it has not to be perfect, it has to be acceptable, and, and at least I can start. So I will just pass to my uh, uh, drawing process. So thank you very much, and let's keep creating and let's keep going forward. So let's start with the <laughs> with the drawing. So, um, usually I don't sketch because I like to draw, uh, I find more challenging to draw by instinctively and also drawing instinctively for me it's more art therapeutical, I feel more, I release more anxiety because I know that it's, it's the, the, the white paper, it scares me at the beginning, so usually scares everybody. Uh, but then basically I try to figure, to visualize in my mind uh, what I want to draw uh, and I started and I don't really know, I mean, when, I was, when I started this drawing, uh, this pixie, this pixie of the acorn, uh, my idea honestly was uh, to do an elemental spirit of the heart, uh, the heart uh, yes the heart so you, I already did basically the fire, the water, and the um, uh, wind, and I wanted to do the earth spirit. So basically, my intention was that. But then, basically, it turned out another thing. So yeah, uh, but I'm quite satisfied. Yeah. So for the material used, I used a uh, Sakura micro macro pen, uh, zero. Point one. Um, I used several kind of materials mm, since I started, and I think that honestly, the Sakura called the Sakura mm, ink pen are very uh, reliable and efficient. And for the other materials, mm, I use markers, so I use Copic markers, which are expensive, or the brush markers or Wilson and Newton, I think. Um, why I started to um, to um, to draw? And basically, I, I'm an engineer. I'm, um, I worked abroad um, for not for engineering, for customer service. Um, but then I basically I, I well I had some difficult time in the past. Uh, we can call it depression, um, and basically. Even if it was very difficult, and in general it's difficult, any difficult time, because that's why they are called difficult. Um, if you are able to find, um, to understand why that difficulty arise, um, you are able to convert, to transform that difficult situation in something good for you. So what I did basically during that time was, okay, I, I start a self dialogue with myself and I said, okay, there is something that is not, that I don't like uh, of my life. Let's try slowly because it requires time and passion and study, self in self study, let's say like that. Let's try to understand, I say to myself, what I don't like, what I like, why I'm feeling so bad. Um, so basically I started helping myself with everything, with uh, studying, with uh, reading <laughs> a philosophy book, Buddhism books, um, practi practice, um, I did meditation, uh, which helped me a lot. And I started playing saxophone, I started to study music. 
I started to draw. I started to write. So basically I did all I needed to create and to understand what I truly liked. So, and this really helped me in feeling better slowly. I, I started working also. Um, and all these puzzle pieces of the puzzle uh, helped me in feeling better. And in the end, I understood that, well, I basically my life until that point was not fulfilling me. So I needed to find a way to, let's say, find something that would feel me happy. And this basically, after a lot of try, you have to try a lot of things before you understand. After a lot of tries, I understood that drawing and writing, mostly drawing, but I write also. Um, I started writing a diary and then I, I, I ended up writing, I'm slowly writing, a, a, let's say, a fable. And then I said, okay, I will, do, I will try to improve in drawings. Um, and so I started drawing and, and I slowly improved, you know, because at the beginning my drawings were terrible. And I started drawing every day. If I cannot, if I could not every day, periodically in order to improve, I watched a lot of tutorials. So, and I still like it and it makes me feel good. So returning to the drawing, basically, I wanted to do an elemental spirit, so an earth spirit. And I ended up doing a pixie, a pixie of the acorn. So she is holding an acorn that it's like a microphone. So maybe my subconscious wanted to, uh, you know, tell me that um, in some point my acorn is connected to this project uh, because I'm using a microphone. Um, so it's quite funny because yeah, I ended up um, drawing this without thinking that I wanted to do a. Uh, an acorn and but then my subconscious was like okay do draw the acorn and and I think uh, why why did I draw uh, did I draw the acorn because when I during my depression and during yeah the difficult time I read a beautiful book that is called the theory sorry the soul's code of James Hillman and I'm an amazing I'm an amazing uh, like a psychologist and writer and he developed this uh, this theory and this the um, the um, the theory of the acorn so basically was saying that um without falling too much into the determinism de 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 but he was saying that every human every one of us has some kind of unique vocation some kind of unique uh, uh skill set that it's not easy to find out you know, sometimes sometimes some people knows what they want to do uh sometimes some people doesn't know don't know so for me i didn't know until i started to focus on myself and and I and basically I slowly understood what I like to do and what I excel at and I still am, I'm still discovering this. So this is a slow process that everyone I think should do and I'm still doing. Uh, but this book, when I read this book, I was amazed and it helped me a lot. Um, but yeah, yeah, basically without falling too much into details, he was following the Jungian. Um, um, branch of psychology psychotherapy so most into symbolism and to archetypal figures and so basically saying that each one of us has uh, some kind of vocation that they can see like an acorn so potentially we have this acorn that we have to that, that we have to develop so the acorn develop into a big hawk but in order to develop into a big hawk it needs the right heart and the, the right environment so it's up to us basically to find the right environment for us and the right uh, uh, feed, how uh, can I say, no? to make this acorn grow up and expand and flourish. So let's say that our soul it's, are connected with this <laughs> metaphorically acorn and um, slowly with the asking to ourselves what we really like, which people we want to be around, which people want to love and want to be loved. So everything matters basically to make this acorn flourish and blossoming. So it's in, in this process of understanding, it's uh, personal. Everyone has to do it. So for me, I understood slowly with a lot of efforts that drawing, writing and kind of also playing music, but it's very rare now because I'm not having so much time. But music is beautiful and it's connected with 
yeah with the reality because i think that reality is made of numbers and frequencies and music that we can hear and that we cannot hear emotions we cannot quantify them now but in some way they are made also of numbers no you feel more or less depending on, on your state so well well returning to the drawing basically uh, i love to draw because it makes me release uh, anxiety it makes me express myself uh, so uh, basically what i it ended up in this beautiful drawing is a uh, pixie of the acorn on an acorn's pixie um, and I love to to draw curves and you know this kind of airs with a lot of curves and making some details like um, lines or you know I, li I like to draw this kind of circles um, but everyone has its size so if you want to start drawing and um, my advice is start it and keep drawing and keep refining and keep and at some point your style will arise slowly um and have patient and honestly i'm still you know i started two years ago and i know there is there is a a big way ahead and i still have to learn a lot and i still have to refine my style I also like to draw with uh, to color with watercolors, and I will post some 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 drawings of some paintings with watercolors. And yeah, so this is it. I hope. Uh, well, I always talk so much, and I could well I could talk for way more. But I will leave you now. I will put some music um, that I hope you will like, uh, some fantasy like music. So hopefully, hopefully you can enjoy the. <laughs> Yeah, the drawing, and I hope this can be inspiring. Uh, maybe you can start, and um, you already started. Um, I just hope that you like it. Um, yeah, let's see in the other, in another, <laughs> in another video, in another episode. Um, and if you like it, subscribe. I will keep posting um, because it makes me feel good, and because I, I like to share. I hope you will like it and um, yeah so let's keep drawing and enjoy your enjoy the drawing process and let's keep creating um create um some of you would like to draw some other would like to paint with a brush some like would like to use watercolors um, yeah. in the end it's it's a discovery and um, so let's keep uh, let's keep discover and experiment so thank you very much for your time and and i hope you like it and and yeah see you soon bye thank you